Bienvenidos una vez más fanáticos de Alaska Hombres Primitivos. El día de hoy traemos un video revelador que realizó Matt hace unas pocas horas. En este rompe el silencio sobre todo, la serie, su familia, su dinero, las drogas. Pero qué mejor que el mismo Matt hablando, dejo el video con subtítulos para su comprensión. Everybody's told me that other people's secrets aren't mine to tell. But they're destroying me, and they've been destroying me for a long time. I'm cold, and I don't have any money, and I hardly have anything to eat. Maybe I should work backwards. No, I'll work forwards. When we first got picked up by the production company that pitched us to the networks, they took the beginning part of my dad's book, where we live by candlelight, and they pitched that to the networks. And then when they started filming our lives, they made us act like that's who we were. We had a box of movies, we had a TV, we had a generator that we carried around to the middle of nowhere all over the place with us. And uh, that's how I learned about life. And it was about heroes that may have been really messed up. Though in the end, they did the right thing, no matter how strong the bad guy was, you know. And I've kept secrets for other people at my own detriment and my own mental dismay. Uh, they, we made a lot of money off of the show, and because we, my dad controlled everything, all of the money went to him, and I. Uh, They hired private detectives to follow me around, uh, and they got my phone and they put spyware on it so that they could see everything that I did and everything. So I started drinking and I got into alcoholism. Uh, I started messing around with a married woman. I fell in love with her, and uh, she fell in love with me, and it was wrong. It really was, you know. And this made my family think worse of me, especially since they were watching it all through my phone. They put private detectives on me, and I, uh, when I found out about it, like, I could tell that people were following me. I kept seeing the same people, different places and everything, and it started driving me crazy. I told my family about it, and they started making me think I was crazy. They wanted me to just look the other way and let it happen, and I couldn't, right? I'd seen too much James Bond, too many action movies and everything. Then I started threatening people because I wanted them to stop. They used that against me, right? And I, my dad taught me to scream and yell. That's how he got things, and nobody would listen to me compassionately, so I started screaming and yelling. Then people in production started giving uh, my mom and my dad drugs, uh, cocaine mainly, and they started giving that to me. And then I started acting really weird and really bad. And uh, then I went to rehab and I tried to get myself together. And I realized they taught me that the show and production was what was hurting me so bad. Because I loved filming the show, but I didn't like lying about the way I lived and the way things are in life, right? And then that turned into this psychological thing. Finally, to prove that I, they were doing this to me, I broke into my dad's hotel room and I got into his laptop and his paperwork. I found out the uh, names of the, the uh, private investigators, who they were, what was going on. They tried to make me uh, even more insane by saying that it wasn't happening and all this. And, I didn't have anywhere to go. I didn't have any money or anything. My dad kept it all, right? Uh, fast forward a, a long time, and I went to Betty Ford, and I tried to get sober, and they taught me that the problem was uh, production, that I was in this show that made me lie all the time. And, like, so I stopped. I said I didn't want to work for them anymore. And then they made me and they forced me because I didn't have any money or anywhere to go. When I got out of Betty Ford, I had fallen in love with this, this lady and she had two kids. 
and we were together for almost three years in Los Angeles. My idea expired and I couldn't get it on my own, right? So they told me to try it and have my mom or dad order it for me. That was seven months ago, right? And my mom keeps telling me that it just hasn't showed up and everything. The truth is that they just want to keep me under their thumb and unable to have anything of my own. Then my, uh, the lady that I was with relapsed. I found Xanax in her kid's uh, room and I took them from him without him knowing it was me. I gave them to her and she talked to him and she told me that she flushed them, but she didn't. She kept them. And then she relapsed on them. And when I caught her, I... Uh, she started saying that I was crazy. She used the, uh, my, my explosion, uh, and all of the different psychological problems that the network and that my family tried to pin on me, right, to try and get me locked up in a rubber room. So I escaped LA and came here to Washington, right? Now, my mom is trying to have the company transferred into her name, but she has to have all of this fraudulent tax stuff filled out uh, for the IRS before she can. So she finally gave me paperwork that she thought I would sign without looking at. I did look at it, and I found out that they've stolen $360,000 from me, right? And they, ex I asked my mom... Can I just have $100 so that I can buy food? And she said, I don't have $100. And gave me all this, this jive, right? I just don't know what to do anymore except tell the truth. Because now one of my brothers is being done the same way in production that I was done. Pushed to the edge of sanity, right? And they're trying to pin it on him. And no one cares. When I came back, I was trying to talk to my mom. I was trying to reconnect and fix things. And when my sisters walked in, they, they looked at me with this look of disgust. One of them started tearing things down and yelling. Uh, and I just can't do it anymore. The production here uh, has a guy that works safety for them. And he's a bully. He's always bullied me. He abuses his power and has made up lies about me to, to my family and production, which has helped them paint me as a crazy person. And I can't keep these lies anymore. I just know that life is supposed to be better than this. And it's not right to keep other people's secrets. Which is what I've been doing to my own detriment. So I'm posting this video. I'll answer any questions. I know that this has been very scattered and, and messed up and modgepodged. I just can't go to sleep tonight without... Without the truth being known because like that I, I tried to confront uh one of my friends who's now the uh the head guy in production about the bully uh right who's been stalking me and everything and he tried to make it out like I'm crazy. I was explaining to him that I was going to get a restraining order if he doesn't stop and I wanted him to help me make him stop bullying me. And he turned it around immediately and tried to make me seem crazy. I wasn't talking loud or anything. And he's like, I don't know why you're being all aggressive, right? And I've been aggressive in the past when I didn't know what else to do. Before I had so much therapy and learned to communicate. I told him, though, that I'm not being aggressive. I'm just doing what normal law-abiding citizens would do when they feel threatened. And that's how it is. I just feel so set upon and like such a liar. I'm sorry to you. I apologize to you, my friends. Okay, like I said, I'll answer questions or whatever. I just have to put the truth out. All right. ¿Será cierto lo que dice Matt acerca de todo? Esperaremos nuevas noticias. Esto ha sido todo por ahora. No olvides suscribirte a mi canal, activar la campanita, compartir y darle me gusta. Hasta un próximo video.